Nice and lovely, welcome back. It is Sunday, guys, and you know what I mean? Sunday with normally in Jamaica, you know what I mean? And a Sunday, it's, it's three things I know people normally do on a Sunday in Jamaica, yeah? Three things when they're making their Sunday dinner, and they're gonna make a lovely drink or something. They normally do a Guinness sponge, or probably they might do a carrot juice or sour sap juice, honestly. Anyway, it's Sunday in England, and you know what I mean? I decided to make um, a drink for my fans, you know what I mean? Big thing, you know what I mean? You know, after. I, I did a quite a few videos on Guinness Punch, you know what I mean? The Shuffle Cut and all my pose over and over. And you know what I mean? Like my fans, and you know, a lot of fans joined since lately. A lot of subscribers, a lot of people leaving and reviewing and all these things. Anyway, as I said, three things in Jamaica, you know what I mean? If a grandmother's still alive in Jamaica, ask her. Three things Guinness Punch, Carrot Juice, or Sour Sap Juice. There are three main drinks I let a Jamaican like on a Sunday when they're gonna have their dinner. Anyway, let's go into business. Alright, and I'm gonna show you very important guys. When you're making Guinness punch, never you use like something steel. It's good to use either plastic or glass. Alright? Um, the reason why, because the Guinness is steelless and it doesn't good. Never you use like a whisk. The whisk of Guinness, it will taste away funny. You might just know that, but don't use a whisk when you're making like this one. You can use a plastic one or a wooden spoon. Very important, okay? And I'm gonna show you you can make yourself Guinness sponge. Very important when you're making Guinness sponge. A lot of people doesn't know how to make it, but honestly. All right, what I'm going to do is pour my Guinness inside of this glass right here. That so you guys can see exactly what's going on right here. Nice one. And as you can see, it starts to be frothing because it's a Guinness and iron doesn't work together, all right? A lot, a lot of people doesn't know those things. So basically, I'm going to share something with my fans them to make you guys know that if you're going to make Guinness punch, do not use a pot or something which is high end please use a glass or plastic very important when you're doing that when you're making your guinea sponge all right so now this is the nutriment which we're going to be adding in it and i believe for you doesn't need to get it fraught up there's another way how you can do just not to get it fraught up but um so the front will be going away in a bit, but as I can see, it's fine. The front will definitely go away. Nice one. That's the nutriment. In, in Jamaica, we call it supergen. In England, they call it nutriment. And this one is vanilla flavor, as I can see right here. And this is the original one, because of copyright, have to be careful. But I know the fraud will be going away in a bit. So just bear with me guys. I want the fraud to go. Then we're gonna get there. I want to pour in. Alright. But as you can see exactly what is taking place right there. This is another one. Hopefully both of them can work. If not, I will just use something else to make it in. Lovely. Anyway, the whole two of uh, this is just one and a half, but that's fine. I just use one and a half. This is some vanilla which we're going to be using. But what I'm gonna do, guys, just give me a second. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch it over and pour it inside of my bigger glass right here. As you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. And then I'm gonna pour this one inside of it because I want you guys to see that I'm using the glass one. I'm gonna have to buy a bigger jug. I got a bigger one, but that one came all in my fridge, so I'm not gonna make it in that one, alright? Now we're going to add in some vanilla. Roughly two tablespoons of vanilla. I 
Now next we're going to add some this is very important, not the egg. It is very. Um, I just brought this one a few days ago, and as you can see right here, this is some nut egg which I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a, a like roughly half teaspoon of it inside of it. The nut egg is very important when you're making Guinness punch, and honestly, it gives it a lot of flavor. But um, I might add a little bit of cinnamon, not too much. Just a little pinch of cinnamon because cinnamon is really good for human beings because it have a lot of benefit and also it do help you to lose weight also um just a pinch of mixed spice not too much because i don't want to do it overcome nothing inside of the guinness punch just a little pinch lovely then i'm going to be using some sweet condensed milk to sweeten it and as I said, please guys, don't use anything inside of it which is iron. I remember Guinness is iron. Alright. I do have a plastic whisk, but where I have it at the moment, I don't make sense. I'm going to go and dig it up. <laughs> Using a whisk is much better, but I'm just going to use my wooden spoon. I'm going to add in the sweet condensed milk. Um, basically, what you need to do is just sweeten and taste as it goes along but at the moment I got quarter tins of sweet condensed milk because of copyright I don't want to be showing any product looking good although I'm using the wooden spoon so basically what I'm going to do now I'm going to simply taste it Nice, but add a little bit more sweet condensed milk, bring up the flavor. Nice one, looking good. So I'm going to be tasting it one more time. I'm not using, I'm just like, you know what I mean? And then I taste it. Yes. This is it right there. It is perfect. Um, basically, as you can see, I met the Guinness punch. And as I said, one of the first guys, to be honest, I would add a little bit more of the, of the nut egg inside of it. Just pinch more and also a little bit more of the vanilla got those two are the most important thing when you're making guinness sponge nice one roughly about a teaspoon but to be honest the whisk is good but i'm not gonna be using this whisk in it because i know what happened when you're using this kind of whisk in guinness sponge it bring off like an iron taste which you don't want that in the guinness you just want the guinness to be really perfect lovely all right then what i'm going to do i'm going to pour it back inside of my glass and i'm going to show you how it look and really nice enjoy it guys it's beautiful really really nice nice i love it so basically that's the guinness punch right there very easy and simple all you need is guinness nutriment or suffragan in jamaica um get some nutty eggs cinnamon and mixed spice sweet condensed milk and you know what i mean make yourself a nice lovely drink for your sunday dinner so hopefully you guys will like the recipe please subscribe leave your comments below very important for chef ricotta and also subscribe follow me on instagram twitter and facebook my name is chef ricotta and i represent jamaica and the world thank you so much to tune in and watch my show give me a sponge for sunday dinner enjoy it